Wrong hand. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this thing's so stupid. Oh, I don't know. It's weird. Fucking <laughs> little weird. I'm using the new uh, Logitech. Uh, what's it called? Hang on. Uh, Logitech Capture. It didn't stop filming, did it? No, it did not. Uh, instead of the old software that they had, and it's kind of, I don't know, it's quirky. I'm just giving this a mix up because I have titanium dioxide in it. Dioxide. I have my colours ready in here, ready to go. I have uh, Sapphire C uh, in, and some titanium dioxide. And in this one, I have uh, yeah, something French rose with some titanium dioxide. Both have a little bit of this mix in them, so it was not dry. Uh, this is my correct amount of lye. And I am going to make uh, citrus, uh, my citrus blend, which I call sensational citrus this time. And I was thinking maybe a tiger stripe or some form of something or other <laughs> some form of something or other <laughs> right let's do that then some form of something or other I don't know it's been so long since I made pictures I can't remember if it goes thick or not Mr. Boogley's over there sleeping helping out He's very helpful. <laughs> so helpful. Because he's right where I walk. It's so annoying. That is the perfect shade of the pinks. And the perfect shade of the blues. Alright. So. It's up there. So there's my pink and my blue. My pink and my blue. Blue. It's blue. Oh, no, no, I can't do it. I'm sure when I try and do an accent, it's like dumb. Just dumb is what it is. I don't remember this ricing or doing anything stupid. I do think it thickens, but no, no ricing's happening, so. Oh, so I'm re watching dramas just because. I love dramas, uh, Korean dramas, K dramas, and I'm re currently rewatching Cinderella and Four Nights because I'm, I'm all about Jung Il Woo at the moment. Uh, he's just uh, he's been out of um, military service, so or just come out of military service, I think. And it's like ah! so yeah, so I'm all about I'm all about Jung Il Woo at the moment. And Cinderella and Four Nights is a t it's such a cute little drama. It's it's very typical, like it's, you know, Che Bowls and, and, a, and, a, and, a, and an average girl, which is a Che Bowl is a rich heir, you know, the, an heir to a, a giant corporation or whatever. They call them Che Bowls. This is the Korean word for it. And um, this is really thin. <laughs> really really thin all my soaps are not playing up today and just like you know so really <laughs> there was it's a good thing i wasn't doing layers that's for sure because jesus christ all right let's um just trying to figure out the west the west way the west way to do this you know what we're going to do a side pour let me use that And can you see that? You can actually see that. Just the microphone's just kind of annoyingly in the way. All right, so wall pour. You pour down the wall. Wait, this thing's too big. I might pour this into here. So it's spilling <laughs> I'm so useless I swear 
<laughs> Soap to be spilt. I will spill it. Alright. Down the wall. Wait. Um, I'm going to put white between them. I like to come back. I don't know why. I just I have always done that. So you'll find that I, I woohoo that I can't do anything right. Yeah, I always tend to go up and back. It is thickening now, so the top of this soap is going to look a lot different than the bottom of the soap. I also can't pour things probably. I also have a lot more white than I do of the um, the coloured ones because I wasn't really planning on this. Otherwise, I would have. I mean, you need more white when you're putting the white between the two layers. But anyway, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Because, you know, we're so gangster up in here. <laughs> I couldn't be less gangster. I swear. Not even remotely less gangster. <laughs> it's just, I'm so not gangster. I tell you what, if you guys like K pop, or you know want to give it a listen I am going to strongly suggest that you listen to uh, Taemin's new song which is called Want it is fantastic Lee Taemin we often all, all of us that stand Lee Taemin like to say that he is the child of oh, Michael Jackson not because he likes to touch children inappropriately but because the boy has moves seriously he can dance he's just he's so talented but yes and he's an amazing singer and he's just this skinny little white boy well Asian so if you want to be racist you could say he's a skinny little yellow boy but that's just racist and I wouldn't say that um, yeah he's just this skinny little white boy but when he sings he just exudes sexuality and sensuality he's just incredible so, yeah so that's my, my suggestion if you if you like k-pop and you haven't seen it yet do yourself a favor if you do like k uh, if you don't like k-pop but you're interested to have a have a look then that's not a bad introduction into K-pop, so... Alright, what I'm going to do... Is I'm just going to whittle that down a bit. What are we up to? He's up to his de pinks. Yeah, I think this is going to turn out alright, eh? Hey, Aye. Aye there, cuz. Yeah, I'm not racist. I'm not racist in the slightest. Well, I mean, really, doing a, an, an Aboriginal accent is really no more racist than trying to do an Irish one or an English one or whatever. So, I guess it's not really racist. Oh, I'm probably just trying to justify myself <laughs> at this point in time. Oh, dear. I should probably just shut up. I'll probably fast forward all this anyway, because, you know. You guys probably actually don't want to hear me carrying on about Lee Taemin and how amazing he is. Because he really is, guys. He's like... Oh, he's something else. Alright, we're a bit full here. A bit, bit full. Might have to just have a bit of a pour without it. Yeah. We'll get.
get one more out of the pink, I think. Oh, so messy. Yep. One more. And then a little bit of a scrapage, but... That will pretty much be it, I reckon. Actually, it did pretty well. Considering how I didn't wasn't planning for this, but the the soap amounts did really well. So, and then one more white on top. Oh, bastard! I've completely covered the blue which is a pity because I could have done it actually nice top I think I still can I think what I might do is this oh I have to clean it before I do anything because it's just disgusting but yeah that I think that's gonna be good I like that it'll be different different to anything that I've made for this lady before so seeing as I've never made a layered soap before it'll definitely be different okay so Oh, beautiful! Oh, beautiful! Yas, bitches. Oh, speaking of yas, bitch. Oh, oh my god, what time is it? Oh my god! The Sims is available! The new Sims. Ah! <laughs> uh, it's the new expansion pack, the Strangerville expansion pack. It's been available since 4.30. It's 4.43! Oh my god! Well, it said it was going to be available at 4 4.30 AEDT, so... And it is 4.43 AEDT! For those of you that don't know timing standards, that is Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. That's pretty! You, you can't see anything, it's just the sort of light's so blown. It still wobbles the camera a bit, doesn't it? Hmm. Alright. Um, I'll do a close-up for you. But... First of all, I'll make another one of these. And I don't need to make smell me's because these are not for me, so they won't be going to the market stall. Unfortunately, because I think these are going to be gorgeous. Seriously, I'm really happy with that. You can always tell when I get excited about a soap, can't you? Because I'm like, oh. Especially the ones that you're sort of like, oh yeah, I'll do it. It probably won't work, but I'll do it. And then it works and it's like, yes. Well, you know what's going to happen now though, don't you? Because now that I've said that, it'll be shit on the inside. <laughs> Guaranteed it'll be shit on the inside. <sighs> Whatever. So these are, these are freebies. I, um... When I, uh, any sales that I get online, I always include a little freebie. Um, most of the time it's soap. Uh, if someone orders like a hundred bucks worth of soap, then I'll put something else in there. But, you know, most of the time I just put soaps in there because I think my soaps are awesome. So, <laughs> that's probably big headed of me. But, you know. And see, that's the thing too. I'm Australian, and we don't like people that get too big for their britches. Uh, we call it tall poppy syndrome. What it is is um, we have a tendency if someone gets if someone gets too big for themselves, we will sort of slam them and and try and knock them back down to, down to size. And the tall poppy syndrome is is because poppies have um, really long stems, and then there's the, the flower on top, which is where the saying comes from. So yeah, so I tend to be sort of like, I don't like to brag that I think my soap's really good because I always feel like someone's sort of just going to, you know, take me down a peg or two. <laughs> so It's very Australian. Actually, I think it's very Swedish as well to sort of be a little bit more humble about your accomplishments and stuff too. Um, I was watching a um, an interview, I was going to say with Eric Northman, but no. No, gee, I'll watch anything with Eric Northman in it. Uh, with Alexander Skarsgård. I uh, know I'm not pronouncing that correctly. A Skarsgård or something, I think it is. It's 
yeah, I'm just pronouncing it the English way, so whatever. Um, and yes, and he's so humble. And I thought, you know, it, that's, you know, it, it would be so good if more people were like that. Yeah, he said he was embarrassed about winning an, an Oscar or something. Did he win an Oscar or a Grammy or an Emmy or, I don't know, probably not a Grammy. I think that's for music people, isn't it? <laughs> Look at me! I'm big on the on the award ceremonies, aren't I? Uh-huh. Although I did see at whatever awards was it the Oscars we had just recently? It's February. You guys won't see this until God knows when. Um a, a, a black dude under you know, I suppose you should probably get up me for saying black. Um uh, African American, I think. Not entirely sure. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, yeah, a well mel mel melatonin dude. <laughs> I'm not really being racist, I swear. I'm really not. Um, this awesome, good looking dude. Let's just say that. This awesome, good looking dude. Uh, wore a friggin' full velvet, like on the top it was a it was a tuxedo, and on the bottom it was like a full ball gown. It was glo and it was on a guy, and it was friggin' glorious. I'm all for guys wearing dresses, straight guys, gay guys, bi guys, trans guys. I don't care. Well, the trans guy, <laughs> no, that doesn't work, does it? Any male. You know what? Any one of the human species. Hell, the animals can wear dresses too. I don't care. I think guys in dresses are sexy. Well, it's got to be the right dress, I guess. And the right guy. Because, <laughs> you know, a nice dress does not make an ugly guy sexy. But I, st I, I will firmly stand by that. I have always thought that guys were sexy in dresses. And I used to be known back in the day when I used to do 3D. I was known for making 3D dresses for guys. Like, you know, that's just one of the things I did. They'd sell too, so, you know, I wasn't the only one that liked them. I'm not the only one into that particular kink, so there you go. I should probably shut up now, because I'm just standing here cleaning things and you don't really want to watch this. <laughs> and I will see you for... I'll do a close-up of that because it's really pretty, and then I'll see you for the cut.